With the old facility, we averaged about 500 visitors a month. With the new facility, we're averaging close to 800 a month. We have not had a volunteer program in the past, but we have had a huge demand uh, to start one. We were challenged by our executive team and council, so they said we'll build it if you can manage it with your current supply budget and your current staffing budget. If we start at the, at the front of the facility, um, one of the huge changes is, is just the size of our lobby, the natural lighting. You uh, immediately greet the cats with, uh, with the cat room and the get to know you space. Um, which is just off the lobby area. The lobby desk, uh, where we greet all of our customers. Again, our old facility was it was so small um, and industrial that uh, I mean here just it's completely modern and, and with the natural light, it's just there's really no comparison. Um, just behind that, uh, the lobby's front counter is, is where our workspace is. Um, each officer has a workstation. All up to date furniture, overheads. Uh, drawers, storage space, um, and about twice the work surface that was provided in the other facility. We've provided a, a break room for our staff that has a, a, just a ton of natural lighting. Uh, we've even provided a patio that out, it, it kind of looks out over a park and greenbelt area. So it's just it's a real nice place to be able to separate yourself from the job and uh, get a breath of fresh air and, and, and kind of take a few moments, you know, to kind of. Uh, recompose and, and prepare yourself to do the job again. We would travel past that, that lobby area and, and where the workstations and our break room are and then you would notice uh, where we uh, house our adoptable animals. Um, talk about a little bit about the efficiencies that we've gained through design of those areas. We display the animals more than warehouse them here, uh, which allows our customers to, to kind of walk through our facility whether we're cleaning or, or, or caring for the animals without really interrupting any of the process. We've reduced the noise, the odor, um, all the things that are naturally associated with, with keeping animals that people would think would be negative. You really don't experience any of that. We have a drive through sally port, which provides our staff the opportunity to come in both out of the weather and secure, provide a secure place uh, to load or, or unload animals. They would come from the, the enclosed sally port uh, into a check-in station that provides an opportunity to, to vaccinate the animal, weigh the animal, and then process whatever paperwork we have for the, for the disposition of the animal. Uh, we have a quarantine facility, a sick room facility, um, and then a holding facility for strays uh, where the animals are held for three to four days, give the owner an opportunity to reclaim their pet. One of the areas that we're also very proud of and we get a lot of compliments on is our courtyard. A lot of people that walk by the courtyard are kind of fooled and ask what kind of grass we have. We used uh, similar turf to what is used on professional football fields and soccer fields um, that is easy to maintain. We challenged uh, the design team. We were able to accomplish the mission with building it, increase the number of animals, and actually reducing um, some of the work demand related with the new facility.